Have you seen all of those ads for MIDI packs, MIDI chord packs, MIDI tools, all of this kind of stuff? Question is, do you need them? If you've got Waveform, you definitely don't need them because Waveform has a whole lot of tools of its own and it does all of that stuff for you. Let me show you. So the first thing is the chord track. This is an unusual thing that we don't often get. So insert new chord clip, E minor all the way. Let's keep that for now. We're in the key of E minor down here. The default is C major usually, but all you got to do is click on the key. You can click there, you can get any of those different keys. Click there, you can get any kind of major, minor, and various modes. Next thing you do, insert new MIDI clip, and click on that. Click on pattern generator. You can make a bass line here, because that's a bass. You can put in presets. So to break free. See what that sounds like. And I can work with that. And then put another MIDI clip here. Pattern style. Two chords this time. I'll play. Or we could do chord preset. Or we could do arpeggio change the octave follow card track here that means that it's going to follow us up here so we're currently only on E minor but if we click on this, we can do different stuff like presets, popular three chord progressions and four chord progressions, loads and loads. These ones, Let's try that. might be based on a major. So. And this here, you can change the speed of them, pattern length, steps.
it's that simple. No, if we change that chord progression to something totally different, get a totally different sound. Everything follows. 50s. So there you go. One more thing you can do is, without using all of that kind of fancy stuff, you can open up any of these like this, a new MIDI clip. So if you've got a new track with MIDI clips, you can show all notes, it gives you the piano keyboard like that or you can show notes in key and then it gives you that show all the notes that you're that are in your key the other thing you can do is let's go to the key of C again so we find C here that's C And regardless of whether we're viewing it here in that kind of view or in the show all notes view, if we do make that a bit smaller, if you hold control and press number three, it turns it into a triad. So let's see when you do it on a D. So you'll notice here that it figures out for you that this is a minor triad when it's on D and this is a major triad when it's on C. It does all of that work for you. The other thing is if you view it in the other way, show notes in key, then they all just look like skip a space, skip a space. And so it all gets worked out for you there anyway. And that's just scratching the surface. There's lots more cool tricks like that that you can do in waveform. And follow here for more info like that and if you want to buy a waveform i leave a link in the description below and you can buy it there and a little percentage of the money that you pay will come to me through an affiliate link enjoy it